again. Welcome to the RACNRBC. I'm your host, Sad Larry. With us today are Bill, Billy Joe Jean, and a country hick, and Paul Suds, a failed soap manufacturer. The depression has taken a toll on them, and they're here to tell their story. Please introduce yourselves. My name is Billy Joe Jean, and I were a farmer back before the depression thingy, and now I ride the rails to find work around the world. You know you can't ride a rail on the ocean, right? Baloney! Stop beating on gums, Larry. And you, Mr. Suds? I used to be the big cheese in my company, Soap Inc. What was your life like before the Depression hit? I was a very wealthy man. Sold tens of thousands of stocks of soap. To myself. I had many snazzy machineries because my wheat grew so well. What was the city and country life like? The city was filled with dolls and their gams, all ducky. Way to go. Hot, hot, hot. The country life was a hard life until my wheat sales went up and I could afford those fancy machineries. Did you have any money invested in stocks? Yes, and the government left me holding the bag. I lost everything. No, my stocks were the bee's knees. I didn't need any more money. I had enough soap back then. What was your reaction to the stock crash? My no, my no good, dumb, door-flapping, gold digger of a wife left me when the economy crashed. Thankfully, she didn't take the soap with her. Otherwise, I'd be dead. And dirty. I lost all my paying folks and had to sell my shiny machinery to pay for the cow's udders needed for milk. What, do, what did you do occupation-wise after the economy crashed? I rode the rails, bimbo, and did odd jobs and slept with a bandit blanket. I became unemployed and forced to eat soap soup in my soap-filled Bennett buggy. Did you ever go to camp, Billy? No, I made enough riding the rails to survive. The flappers gave me food and dough and other services. Hee hee hee. And hospitality is the berries. Did you get a offer? Did you get offered or accept relief, Mr. Seds? Yes, I was offered coupons, which didn't taste as good as soap, and would have lost my soap, so I said no. What do you think what do you think of PM Bennett and his promises for the economy? He promised to fix the economy or die in an attempt, and he still isn't dead. He daunted help us farmers with our dying crops when them flying devils did appear. Which PM did you think do you think did a better job of trying to fix the economy? When King did come back, everything went back to the way it was. King was the king. With King, I could sell soap to anyone I wanted to. Bennett wanted to take it away from me in exchange for relief. Are you glad the Depression ended the way it did? I am glad the Depression has ended, but it's too bad we have to go into another war to end it. I'm glad to be getting back to growing wheat and making dough. Do you plan to enlist in the Canadian Forces? If you do, in what part? Air Force, Army, or Navy? I want to be part of the Flying Bird people after I make my money back from my wheat. I do not want to be part of all this endless killing. Well, thank you for your time, ladies and gentlemen. Here's your moment. Please give your moment of your time for our sponsors. Hey, hey here, comes a, here comes a mother with her seven children. Let's see what she has to say after all of her time with her children. Ma'am, what do you remember most about your home life after the children? Well, sir, with seven children all working on a farm to help me make a living, they all get very dirty very fast. I knew that I needed something to get them clean. That's when I found Paul Sud's soap. It cleans my kids better than any other soap yet. It is also the only soap that I trust to bathe my kids in without having to worry for their safety. After the first wash, I was hooked. From that point.